Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Abbott. In the previous video, we learned how to take a model just by clicking a button from the Open Analyzer and pasting it straight into Excel as a CSV. And here's the model that I copied. It has a first row with some items you must not alter. ID, label, units, title, and so on. These are used by the app for specific reasons. Don't blame me that the internet is case sensitive. If I say the ID of the fertilizer is capital F-E-R-T, then we have to use that with capital F later on. It's very inconvenient that the internet has decided to be case sensitive, but that's the way it is. So let's see what these do. The ID is an ID so that we can use any of these values in our calculations. The label is what appears on the screen. You don't want it too long because then the oval is too large. You don't want it too short because then no one has any idea what you mean. The units are important there. For greater clarity, when you move your mouse over any of the nodes, then this title text appears, just as it does on any other website. I've chosen colours pink for basic inputs, blue for intermediates, and yellow for final outputs. There's a small selection of colours. You can choose whatever works for you. The value is the value being used as a default for each of these inputs. And you can change the value from the from value to the to value. So I'm saying fertilizer should only go from 0.5 to 1.5 in steps of 0.1. You might have different views. That's fine. You can change it. This factor conv is the conversion factor. The fact that it's 1 means that if I go from 0.5 to 1.5 on my slider, then that's the actual value that is used. Now let's look at a calculation. We know that the production CO2 comes from the fertilizer, the infrastructure, and the organic waste. And that's why I have this equation. It's fert plus inf plus o waste. I use a curly bracket around so that the app knows that I'm referring to an ID. Then we have C plus land for transport. Then we have a bunch of more calculations for the final value. And the brewing efficiency is calculated as 0 0.86 divided by F, which is the efficiency. Now the efficiency is entered as a slider from 20 to 100%, but we do the calculations in real numbers. So whatever you put in the slider, you divide by 100, that's the conversion unit. So the default is a 40% value on the slider, which is calculated as 0.4. Now let's add another feature to our model. I'm interested in the volume of water used in the brew. That's important, of course. So let's add that. I can put it anywhere, it doesn't matter, but for visual sense, I'll just put a line in here. I'll call it vol as the ID. It will appear as volume in the app. This is in mills of water. Title, volume of water in brew. We don't mind how long that is because that's what appears when you move your mouse over it. This is a pink input. The default value is 125 mils. There's no conversion value, so I just make that one. And I want to specify it from 20 mils, a very strong espresso, to 200 mils, a fairly dilute coffee, in steps of one mil. Then I need to include this in the calculation. So instead of it being 0.86 divided by efficiency, we add that it is times the vol, so I put the curly brackets around it, divided by 125, which is the default value. So there's the new calculation. Now I need to save this. I'll save it as the version I've done before. Yes, I'll replace it. Now we have 
our new model. Let's go and load it. Here's the model we've been using and here's the button I clicked to copy it. We've now got the new version so let's go and load it. Choose file, so it's on my laptop. Here's Coffee Footprint 1. I load it and there it is. I'll zoom in a bit so we can see our new value. So here's the volume, there's the total. It's defaulted to 125 so that total is the same as before. I click on it. Let's make it a very dilute coffee. So now our total CO2 is much larger. Let's make it a lot of espressos. Now our total is much smaller. So you get the general idea. I've given you a quick overview. In the app itself, there are full instructions about ID, labels, units, title, all those things. There's even some description of what to do with errors when you load a model. Every model I've ever loaded has an error in it. You'll have the same thing. Don't panic, it tells you what to do. I hope you enjoy using Coffee Footprint Analyzer and as always, let us know your feedback. Thank you.